Welcome to our Signal4 customer journey series. Today we will walk you through the process of creating your Signal4 account and starting your new subscription. To begin, navigate to the Signal4 website at www.signal4.com. Once the website loads, click on the free trial button at the top. On this page, if we scroll down, there is a sign up now button. If we click on the sign up now button, we will access the sign up page for your Signal4 subscription. Signal4 requires a unique email address for each subscription. To sign up, enter your email address into the address field, followed by your password and the password confirmation. You may also choose to create your account using Google, Apple, or Microsoft authentication by clicking on the corresponding buttons below the sign up button. Let us create a new Signal4 account using the default Signal4 login option. We'll need to enter our email address as well as the password and the password confirmation. Once we enter this information, we're going to want to click on the sign up button. Once we click on the sign up button, we'll reload another page where you'll see that we have sent an activation email to the entered email account. Once we receive this email, we will need to open up the new email and click on the activation link to activate our account. Clicking on the activation link will take us back to the Signal4 page where we will see a blurb of text saying that the account has been activated and that we can now log in. At which point the page will reload and take us to the login page for Signal4. Once we've officially logged in, we'll notice an upgrade button in the top right up here. This button will allow us at any point in time during or after our, our free trial to convert our free trial account into a subscription account, keeping our account live and active. If we do not purchase a subscription, at the end of our free trial, we will automatically roll over into our free Signal 4 plan. Signal 4 also offers the options for users to sign in using third-party authentication methods such as Apple login, Microsoft login, and Google login. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and invite a second member for my users, and I'm going to have this user log in with the, one of the third-party accounts, in this case, the Microsoft account. Once we've entered in the user, as well as chosen a team and set a role, we just click on the invite button, and this is going to send an invite to our user. That user will receive this invite via their email, just like yours did, and they'll be able to then click on the link and sign in using either the Signal4 options or one of our third-party authentication options. Once your new user has received his invitation, he can either access the Signal4.com web portal or use the mobile app and log in using whichever login option they choose, which in our case, we're actually going to use the Microsoft option. So at this point, I've loaded up a second window in incognito mode so that I can log in as a separate user. I'm going to click in the sign in with Microsoft option which will then bring me to a Microsoft sign-in page where I can enter in my Microsoft login information. Once that user finishes his login, you'll notice if I go to my users, I will now see two separate users, both my original and my new user. And if I go back to my first window and refresh my page here, we'll see that this user is no longer invited, but now he's a full-fledged user for my account. Now that I've officially created my account and invited a new user, the next step would be to download and log into the mobile app. And the mobile app is available on both Android and iOS phones. And if I go back to my homepage of the login, we'll see that we have included download links for both Google Play and the Android app stores. And clicking on either one of these will take you to the store and the app in the store. However, what we need to see here is my phone. And as we can see on my phone, I actually already have it installed. However, I'm going to go ahead and go into the App Store and do a quick search for Signal 4. When we do the search for Signal 4, you'll see that the Signal 4 mobile alerting app comes up. And if I open that up, we'll have all of our app information as well as an install option for those of you that do not already have it installed or the open option for me that already has it here. So once we get the app installed, if I go ahead and click on the Signal 4 option, I'll open up our app and you'll see here that I actually have the option to sign up in the app the same way I signed up on the Signal4 web portal, 
just using it from directly from the mobile app. However, since I've already created my account, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the login button. And then I'm gonna enter in my username and password and click on the login option to enable me to log into the mobile app. Once we've logged in, we'll notice that the app actually loads up and it gives us all the information that we have on our current Signal 4 subscription. And we'll see that I already have an alert by default, even though this is a brand new account. And this is just so we can send out a first alert for our users so they can actually take a look at how it would look when a real alert comes in without having an actual alert quite yet. Now for my user that is using third-party authentication, he can actually log into the app as well just by clicking on the sign in with Microsoft option at the bottom. And this will bring in the third-party authentication of your choice, whether it be Microsoft, Apple, and or Google, in our case, Microsoft. And there we have both of our users logged into the app using either their Signal 4 account or in the sec case of our second user, his Microsoft account set up through Signal 4. This video provides an overview of the process for creating a Signal 4 account and downloading the mobile app and signing in via both Signal 4 and third-party authentication methods. This will allow you to create your account and get started using Signal 4 for your alerting needs. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Signal 4 customer journey series.